All right, I wanted to quickly show you how to add additional pages and basically kind of recreate a template. So, for example, we have a wood fences page here that um, you want to have a, we're, we're going to basically recreate this page or this layout for the bolt up hidden steel page. Um, or the hidden steel fence posts. <laughs> so the best way to do this, I think, is to duplicate the page. Um, because then it just kind of recreates everything and uh, it, it um, you have a, a starting point. So now this page is already created. So in this case, I wouldn't do this um, because if we duplicate it, this one already exists. We need to rename the du duplicated and so forth. Um, but I actually might go ahead and do that anyway. So I'm going to show you what I mean by this. So we're going to duplicate this and then we're going to call this one the bolt up hidden steel post page. I'm going to get rid of this one because we don't um, we don't need this one anymore. The second part of after you've duplicated a page is to go into the SEO settings and make sure that you customize this. So this one should be whatever it was. And actually, I want to make sure I name it the same thing because Google probably already has it indexed. And when you're when you you want to keep the same page name if you have the same page. So let's go there and make sure that I grab that right. Um, page name. Let's see, where were we? I can't really see it in my window here, but I'm grabbing this. This is the, the URL that I want to use. So I just want to basically match it. <clears throat> this is not a problem if you're creating new pages. This is only if you already have a page um, and I'm duplicating it uh, to create a new, you know, I'm replacing the duplicated page basically, or the, the extra page. So I'm going to call it this now. So we're going to say uh, okay, and this is where it tells you, hey, if you change in the name of this, make sure to tell Google. Um, but in this case, we're replacing this page with the page I deleted, so we don't need to worry about a 301 redirect. Um, all right, so that's that. The other step is to make sure your title matches too. So put in the bolt up hidden steel posts. Installation, okay. Um, you can also add a description here. Usually this pulls the first couple sentences from your page, but you can also write something. This is what shows up in Google, so it's kind of nice to have something um, here that <clears throat> entices the user to click more. So uh, we install bolt up hidden steel posts for strong fences or something like that in Sacramento, California. Feel free to rewrite that. Um, but that's where this is. This is under the SEO. That's your URL. This is your page title. This is the uh, what the page is about. This is basically what shows up in Google. So you want to keep, especially when you're duplicating, make sure to, to correct this. When you create new pages from scratch, it will automatically name them with whatever that you named it. But in a duplicated case, it always has that copy of. So now we're done with that. And <clears throat> now I'm on this page. To make sure you're on the right page, make sure you're here. Um, uh, on that page, just check and make sure it says the bolt up. And then now you can put in here bolt up hidden steel posts. And I'm going to just say coming, coming soon. Um, including bolt up hidden steel posts. Um, feel free to rewrite this, of course. And then, of course, you're going to now want to change all these, um, this gallery out to match that. So just click on Manage Media. If you want to select all of these and delete them, you can click this and then click on Delete. Um, otherwise, if some of them work, you can just rename them, reorganize them. And know that you can reorganize things by dragging things around um, in the order here. Sometimes it gets a little tricky, but... Um, and then make sure you name the titles and descriptions or possibly link it somewhere if you wanted to link as well. Um, so that, this is, this, uh, more info coming soon. So here's your page now. The, the last step before you, uh, and I'm going to go ahead and publish this, but the last step before 
you get out of the editor is to check the mobile as well. Mobile uh, is kind of all the same elements. It's just they're restructured for mobile view. So you can adjust things. You can resize text. Um, you can actually also adjust the alignment, but you can't change the actual text. So if you want to edit the text, do that in the desktop version. Um, but you can kind of reorganize the stuff, center things, make sure everything is looking good. Um, but again, all this stuff comes through. If you want to edit these photos, edit them in the desktop version. So just double check this, make sure everything looks good, that nothing got out of whack. Um, I'm going to get rid of that extra space there. Uh, but I think, oops, I just did something that I do by accident all the time. When you click on an element, um, a lot of times it'll give you this hide thing. And sometimes you might accidentally click on that. You can always use your undo. You can also come over here to hidden elements and um, show that text. So that title was uh, missing right there. So uh, if there's any hidden elements that you're not seeing, you can use that. And then just go back to the desktop and publish. The one last thing I will do is I'm going to go into the site menu um, and I'm going to pull this down to the bottom because I think this was on the bottom page. So same thing, if you want to do a farm fences or fence repair or new galleries down the road, you can just duplicate them. Make sure to look at the SEO after you've duplicated to make sure that, you know, the title and all that are, are not copies of. Um, and then just go in and edit it um, as desired. You can also hide pages. So if you don't want this page to show up, like I have the farm fences and fence repair, you can just click here on hide and that'll make it take it away from that menu. Um, but down the road if you want to show it again you just click here on show. One last thing to look at is the main gallery page because we have all these types of fencing. Um, I don't have a block. Oh no we do. We do have this block. So just make sure this is linking to that page. Because I deleted the other page it, it lost that link so I'm going to choose the new one here. Um, and down the road if you want to add more of these you can duplicate these columns. So basically copy and paste and then drag it. Oops. Let's just duplicate it here. I'm right clicking on. Oops. That's not what I wanted to do either. It's getting a little wonky. And actually this leads to me to my last Wix tip. Um, if things stop responding and you're starting to have problems in the editor, hit publish and then close out of your window because with Wix it always opens up a new window. Go back here, relaunch it, and that should fix the issues because sometimes it won't let you select on things or won't let you edit text or it doesn't give you a menu. And that often happens after duplicating pages or copying a lot of things and pasting things. Um, so if you run into that, that's a solution. So when I click on this, I'm going to right click on it um, or control click on my Mac and I'm going to click on duplicate. That creates another one of these that I can drag down here and then I can rename things. I do have buttons in front of these images or these texts so you have to kind of um I mean this this text is a big button so you just double click on it change that you can change where it links to then you can also click on the background and change that column background as well um, but we're not going to do that in this case we just have this I just wanted to show you that uh, if you do add more pages down the road you'll want to probably update this those on this page as well and then make sure things are linking um, where they need to go and lastly, always check the mobile if you do any changes. Make sure everything is looking good here. Um, for some reason, the mobile isn't displaying those background images um, in the preview here, but they do show up on the front end on phones, so I'm not sure. That must be just a minor Wix bug. But um, everything looks good here other than that, and uh, we're all good to go. So let me know if you have any questions, but now you have um, that same layout now on this bolt up hidden steel post. You can also copy and paste things from page to page. So you can select a whole bunch of things like shift select and then hit copy and paste onto a new page. I just find that duplicating is better because it retains a lot of that mobile layout. So it looks a little bit better on mobile than if you were to copy and paste things, which sometimes they can tend to be overlapped or it just doesn't look the same. Um, so I, whenever I'm creating new pages, I most always duplicate the page. Uh, because it gives you a great starting point and then you can edit it from there. Let me know if you have any other questions and um, yeah, happy Wix and hopefully uh, this will be easy for you to edit and um, you guys can keep it updated with new pictures over time.